Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with another Divi tutorial. Now this week I have something where I'm going to show you how to add a second line of text to any Divi button. So you can make like a tagline and you can put it on the button module or in the call to action module or add the car or the email opt-in, anything like that where there's a button, there'll be a second line of text underneath it. All right, so let's take a look and I'll show you how to do this. All right, so if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to always come over to our blog post, which will be linked in the description. And here's where you have blog posts and we're going to have things like um, the instructions and the code on the blog post all the time. So anyway, the first step is to add a class, CSS class, to the button module. And that way, we're, when we add our code later on, the jQuery and CSS, it's going to be targeting that specific button or module, whichever module we're using. We don't want it to just apply across our whole site. Um, I mean, I don't think we do. Uh, so adding the class is the first step. So here I am on a demo site. So I just have a bunch of buttons laid out here. The reason I have all of these buttons here is because I have like, this one doesn't have any icon. This one I have the icon on the right. And this one, it's on the right when you hover, on the left, and on the left when you hover. So I have different, you know, I was just showing you different things. And then this one, I was just styling differently. So these are all button modules. Okay, so we're going to talk about some other modules and buttons too. But I just wanted to start with the button module. Um, so I just have, you know, like I said, I've, I've added, you know, you go here and, you know, find the button, right? And then inside that, go to the advanced tab. Right here, CSS, ID, and classes. And then right here's where we added the code, or sorry, the class, the PA button tagline CSS class. Okay, so that's that's important because now we're targeting. Now these all have that. So, okay, so the advanced tab and then add it right here. And then you'll be good to go. So then back here on the tutorial, we have the jQuery snippets. All right, so that's what these are right here. So the first one we're looking at right here for the button module. And here it's just telling you, first of all, where to put it as far as putting this code in your website. Um, so I'll show you that. So if you click here, click the copy, this is the snippet right here that we want. Go over here to your website and then down here, you will I already had it in, I'll, I'll redo it. But if I add a new module and then you want to go to code like that, and then you just paste it like that. Now this is putting it on the page. And I want to do that, you know, just for this demo, I guess. But I'll show you where else you could add that. If you are in the back end of your website here, go to Divi Theme Options. And then Integration right here. This spot where it says Add Code to the Head of Your Blog. See, we're right here on the Integration tab. You could put it in there. Okay. Be perfectly fine. In fact, maybe I'll just do that make it easier for this tutorial. So you can see we're targeting PA button tagline. That's that's kind of the most important thing here. The, this snippet is referencing these buttons, okay? And what it's doing is saying, hey, you know, add a class to those, right, append. And we're gonna call this class PA tagline wrap. Now, you know, you may be wondering what, that's just a name, it doesn't matter. It's just the class we're using refer to the the text that's we're calling it a wrap because it's the container of the text and we're putting a tagline in and here's your tagline your tagline here you see that so you would want to customize the text right there in this jquery snippet and that will apply to all of these whether you're using the, the woocommerce module or the other modules okay so anytime you put it in here you would have a unique class and you may need to add multiple classes to your site to get it unique. Like you might want to just add a number at the end, PA button tagline one or, or whatever, and then have your different text based on whichever button it is, whichever tagline it is. And we will get into this a little more when I show you a couple more examples. So don't worry if that's very confusing. Um, so anyway, we're putting it here. I'm going to undo what I did here. We're not going to put it um, in this code module. You could, that is an option, um, but I guess it would make more sense to, to put it here and then save changes. All right, so now I'm just going to exit the Visual Builder. Remember, we added our class and then we added our code in theme option. 
All right, and there you go. You can see that there is a tagline added. Now this one's a dark, we'll, we'll adjust that, but you can see it's here. Now there are, there are some problems. You can see the icon is out of place, but uh, overall, you know, there it is. There's our button and um, things are aligned to the left, um, but we can switch that as well. So back in the tutorial here, uh, let's see, oh, down at the bottom, I guess. So I have some CSS here, and this is meant to be as a base. This is meant for you to take and customize however you see fit. Now, some of it would be important. So I'm just gonna copy it all. And in order to show you live, I'm gonna use my Chrome extension. It's called User CSS. I'm gonna paste it right there. And a couple of things are happening. Well, the tagline, I have it white, but that's okay. But basically the icon is now correct. All right, that is this first snippet. It's adjusting the height of that icon and basically putting it where it needs to be put. So that is, you know, it's PA button tagline and then the pseudo class after, and we're adjusting the line height, okay? The next one is basically is important for putting that tagline um, on its own line. In fact, I'll just get rid of it. Um, see how it's putting, it's basically making that whole thing display inline wrap or inline block. And um, that's why those two, I guess those two I would say are, are important if you're using the icon at all. Okay. Um, and then these other ones down here are going to be optional. So the first two are, are pretty important. And then these last two are optional. So this one, I'm changing the color and you can see, you know, make it red, right? We're just saying PA tagline wrap, and that's that's this line, the tagline, and then H6, because if you noticed in here, we have it wrapped in an H6. Now you could change this to an H5 or H4 or whatever, or a, a P tag, a paragraph tag if you wanted to, but in this case, we have an H6, so therefore we're targeting the H6 and saying, hey, collar, and then we might say, I don't know, you know, font, wait, right if i could type here so you might want it like thin font size all those things can be added there and then this last one is just centering it so if i did not have that it's automatically aligned to the left in fact that's just how the button is in divi there's no setting for that unfortunately because i guess it doesn't usually make sense to have a setting for that in a button but um so like if you wanted you could say left or right, you know, but I, I think center looks pretty good for this kind of button. Um, so there you go. You can use that. So again, um, it's pretty simple. We're adding that little jQuery and then we're adding this. Now we've been talking so far about the button module itself. Now you may be wondering, well, what about if I want to add a call to action module or the WooCommerce uh, add to cart button? I mean, those and the email opt-in, those are all like really ideal situations when you would want to add a tagline. Uh, so let's get to that. Okay, so here we are. Let's grab this, the Woo Add to Cart version here. Um, we're gonna go back to theme options. I'm actually going to change the class just so we don't have any conflict there. And maybe this would be a good, you know, time to see me doing that. I'm just gonna say like Woo on the end there. So PA button tagline Woo. And then what I'll do is over here, I'm going to add that module. I don't know if I have products on this demo. I might, but all right. So what I'll do, I'm just going to add another row or something here. And then woo, add to cart. And then in here, so it's like PA, tagline, button, or was it the other way around? Button, tagline. Okay. So you just put it in here and now we're targeting that, this add to cart. Oh, and, and the other thing would be to like, to change the actual tagline itself, the text of it. So right now you can see your tagline here. You might wanna say something like, you know, offer end soon or a limited quantity or, you know what I mean? Like that kind of, that kind of thing. So there you go. There you have a button module. Now you have a um, WooCommerce add to cart. And let's show you a couple others. 
This would apply to the call to action module, the email opt-in module, contact form module, maybe others. And the reason this is working is because they all have the same class, ETPB button, okay? Let's just grab this and we should probably also, you could put these within the same script tags. Uh, I'm trying to do this in a hurry. So like, let's just do um, PA button tagline two or something. But you'll notice here it says ETPB button. So we're targeting any module that we add this class to that has a button, right? Makes sense. So if we already have that in here, now we go in and add a couple of those modules that I mentioned. And in fact, I don't have to copy and paste it I'll, or write it, I'll grab that. So let's add a call to action. Remember, we're adding dash two. And for this, we have to have a link like that. So it's going to put it right there. What was the other one? Um, email opt in. That one's not going to show. Never mind. I need to connect an email provider, but it will work. Trust me on that one. Uh, let's see. So the contact form, be the same situation here, like that. All right. And then if we had an email opt in connected. Let's take a look. So there's that one and that one. Your tagline here, your tagline here. So there you go. Um, I know this can be a little overwhelming because of all the situations. Uh, hopefully it makes sense to be able to add a class to each one depending on... There's three, three different types of buttons there. The regular button, the WooCommerce button, and then the other ones. So that's why we need a different jQuery, but then the CSS works for all of them. All right, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I don't know if there's any other out there like this, so I do hope you enjoy it. Adding that call to action there can really be helpful. Uh, adding that second line to just entice, you know, the user with some extra information or tidbit or, you know, offer ending soon kind of thing. All right, anyway, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, this is the kind of stuff you'll get here on this channel every single week. All right, well, we'll see you all in the next video.